and sorry for the delay. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to talk about my journey into discovering Postgres, uh, the number one open source relational database. My name is Emma Saroyan. I come from the small uh, landlocked country of Armenia. Uh, Armenia is a small developing country with uh, rich history, beautiful nature, and a friendly, welcoming culture. Uh, my background is in computer science. I studied at American University of Armenia, and that's where I first heard of Postgres. So when I was in uh, university, I was wondering what Postgres is, and um, I heard that it's the number one open source relational database management system. Um, and it has been under active development for more than 30 years. Uh, but I also, at university, I also uh, heard about other uh, competitive ones, and I was wondering uh, why Postgres is the number one and what makes it the number one. So I'm curious to know how many years of uh, experience you have in Postgres, and uh, when did you start your Postgres journey? Who started one year ago? Um, five years ago. 10 years ago, well, 20, 35. Uh, my journey uh, in databases uh, began uh, seven years ago at university. Uh, when I was taking a databases course, but um, I didn't have a very good first impression of Postgres. I was having a number of challenges and setbacks. Uh, one of those was, um, it was a databases course, it was uh, theoretical, and uh, I, the documentation of Postgres was not uh, easy to start with for beginners. And I was having um, trouble setting it up properly. Um, so I was a bit frustrated about it, to be honest, and I kept avoiding Postgres. Uh, but I continued my learning journey um, when I discovered these online platforms, and they gave me some practical um, experience in learning Postgres and databases, which I enjoyed uh, doing. Uh, and uh, during my last year at university, I uh, got um, interested in um, data analytics and AI, and uh, because Python is the most widely used language in this space, I uh, was using Python uh, in my projects. Uh, and I was thinking that um, actually this is uh, what I'm going to do, and uh, I don't need Postgres uh, if I want to work in AI. Uh, and I kept avoiding it. Um, but um, then after graduation, when the global pandemic hit and we're, we were all in lockdown, uh, I noticed that many US companies uh, went remote and I uh, saw a job um, opening at one of those ad tech platforms uh, that I really liked, the data camp. And, um, the, their focus was on making uh, this education about databases and data accessible to many people. And I really liked it, so I uh, wanted to see what I can uh, create there, uh, what I could create. So I uh, joined DataCamp, and as part of uh, DataCamp, I uh, started working on Postgres, uh, creating Postgres um, challenges, assessments, different material. Uh, and it looked like this. Um, at data camp. Uh, I enjoyed it, but I wanted to see uh, real um, world use cases of Postgres. So I kept job searching, and um, one of the most popular use cases of Postgres is in financial services. Um, uh, at Alpaca, I was a developer advocate, and um, it's a fintech startup. Um, but interestingly, when I joined Alpaca, they were migrating away from Postgres to Google BigQuery because they didn't have the right expertise. I was not working with databases. I was just a developer advocate answering developer questions, but it was uh, interesting for me uh, why it happened because Postgres, if Postgres is a good technology and it's uh, very much popular in financial services, 
than uh, why they were not able to um, work with it. Uh, I left Alpaca because I, it was a fully remote company and I was uh, missing the social side of collaboration. I enjoy engaging with communities, um, sharing knowledge, and discovering uh, new cool technologies. I, and I wanted to explore the world. So two years ago, I started traveling to tech conferences, both as a speaker and an attendee. And my first trip was to Berlin to attend to the PyData and PyCon conference there. Uh, it's a Python conference, but um, Surprisingly, uh, almost every uh, Python developer that I spoke to at PyCon, they had an interest in Postgres, and they either worked with it professionally or they wanted to use it in their Python-related projects. And uh, I kept hearing it, uh, so um, I uh, just um, decided that because Postgres uh, is an open source uh, technology and it also hosts different events, I might want to attend one uh, where I can meet the community and learn more about Postgres. So I bought a ticket to London to attend the Postgres London um, 2022. And uh, one of the first things that I noticed about the community was how supportive they were of newcomers. I felt very welcomed uh, in the community. I uh, could engage um, uh, in different uh, interesting conversations about Postgres. And I met many companies that were migrating away, migrating from other databases to Postgres. Um, so uh, because I saw the community was very diverse and inclusive, I um, was sitting there and thinking uh, that I want to be a proactive part of this community and um, I want to get involved in the community because I discovered that Postgres is not a database, it's a community that contributes to it. And uh, I also want to contribute to it and be a part of it. Uh, as a developer advocate, I started also traveling as a speaker and uh, to tech conferences, and I have I uh, spoke at several PyCons in the UK, Poland, and online. Uh, and helping developers get connected and uh, discover resources was uh, something I really enjoyed doing. And I discovered that one of the ways to contribute is by sharing knowledge at conferences. Um, so after having spoken at several PyCons, I decided to go back to uh, the Postgres world and Postgres community, uh, this time in the US. I uh, attended the PG Day Chicago, where I wanted to um, really see how I can get involved in the community. And uh, I again met uh, new people there and uh, also learned how adapt uh, adaptable Postgres is to the latest trends, like generative AI uh, or AI in general. Um, and I um, learned that I can actually uh, apply to speak uh, at, at a Postgres event where I can share uh, insights and share my knowledge and uh, especially my uh, discovery story, my personal story. Um, but after uh, the Postgres event in the US, I was very curious to go back to the Python uh, conference to uh, really see where Python and Postgres now stand uh, like together um, in this industry. And uh, there was a huge Python conference in Pittsburgh, uh, one of the largest Python conferences. And I saw the PGUS uh, there, the team, and also um, I, it, it really, um, like I really liked to see that Postgres uh, has such a proactive community and uh, I was um, very interested to see how uh, Python developers uh, like integrating um, Python with Postgres and seeing this much love for Postgres uh, within the Python community uh, really made me think that uh, Postgres is actually something I also want to work on uh, and um, to contribute to it in uh, different ways. And I recently published this article about my experience at PyCon. Um, so uh, I want to say uh, thank you to PGUS for giving me the opportunity sp to speak at uh, PG conference in New York City where I shared my story recently uh, with the community. I had a great time in New York City and 
um, I learned a lot about different um, database companies and Postgres companies. Uh, and um, also I met um, a fellow Armenian, Bruce Momjan. Uh, it was very inspiring for me. And I was, uh, I started uh, again thinking about uh, different ways to get involved both in the global community and in my country. Um, I just wanted to acknowledge um, the incredible work that the community does. Um, and I um, wanted to say that all of your efforts uh, truly matter and that you should continue doing uh, it and uh, you should keep pushing forward. Uh, and I also wanted to say that uh, as a newcomer, I feel very honored to be surrounded by people like you that I can learn from. And uh, I feel grateful to be part of this uh, very strong and vibrant community. Um, so as I discovered Postgres, I actually now I can say that I think it's a, uh, really, it's a great technology, and um, I, I think that it's, and I agree that it's one of the most uh, advanced uh, database relational, open source relational database platforms. Uh, I think that what makes uh, Postgres really great is, of course, its community. It's the driving uh, force behind its growth and innovation. Uh, but also, I understood why developers love Postgres, because it is extensible, so developers can uh, innovate on top of it or just integrate with their technologies. It's very adaptable to the ecosystem and also to the latest trends. Uh, and um, there are uh, many big companies, software companies, that invest heavily in uh, Postgres, because uh, Postgres is... Um, is um, used in almost everywhere uh, in both software, data, AI, and you can build uh, with it anything. Uh, and I wanted to uh, mention some of the ways that you, we can all get involved and make both Postgres and the community better. Uh, the first uh, way is the user group, uh, which uh, there are user groups in different cities, but you can also create one in your own city. Uh, the other way is uh, improve, by improving the documentation or uh, creating a patch and fixing a bug. Uh, also, the events and conferences are a great way to engage with the community by sharing knowledge and or just attending and speaking to people. And uh, of course, the mailing lists, which I discovered lately, uh, it's also, I think, a way to uh, be connected with the uh, global community and discuss Postgres-related things. Uh, and coming from uh, Python communities, I, I, I would say that um, Postgres, to improve Postgres, uh, Postgres can also, as a community, partner with, I think, communities like Python, and uh, by building, it can improve by building more partnerships and connecting with more people. Um, and I wanted to say a special thanks to uh, Kati, uh, Karen, uh, Dirk, and Bruce Momjan for their support. Uh, thank you so much for welcoming me to the community and making sure that I feel welcomed in the community. Uh, I also wanted to say thank you to all of you for coming to my talk, uh, waiting, and listening to my story. Um, however, I feel that um, my journey is still beginning, and I'm just getting started with Postgres, and I do want to contribute more to it. Uh, so if you want to chat about Postgres or uh, community, find me after my talk. I would love to speak to you. Thank you very much. do you think could be improved uh, about the Postgres community? What did you find difficult? Um, sorry, your question is what can be improved about the Postgres community? So you recently mm -hmm. came in contact with Postgres, let's say, or uh, over the last couple of years. So were there any aspects you found difficult or were, were difficult to get into or you felt not so welcomed or uh, uh, anything that could be better? Yeah. Uh, 
I feel very welcomed uh, in the community. That's what uh, actually I wanted to acknowledge that uh, I uh, see a lot of efforts from the Postgres uh, people um, to welcome newcomers. And uh, I didn't have any difficulties also with, for example, preparing my today's talk uh, or uh, just um, attending and uh, they were supportive of making my also uh, travels possible and uh, I um, to the conferences and I think it's a very welcoming and friendly community. But of course it can improve as Postgres uh, advances and improves. But, um, and uh, I think that uh, we all can contribute and um, make it better. Congratulations, uh, good to see you here. Uh, by the way, Lawrence, to your point, uh, actually Emma is super insistent. I've been working with her when she started to apply for PGD Chicago grant. I can tell you I work with many people. She is like very insistent, very sturdy, and she got lots of help, but I mean, it was very difficult not to help her, you know? She, she actually knew what she is looking for, uh, so kudos to you, you ma made your way. Uh, so I'm actually very interested in you working like between uh, Postgres and Python, and by the way, somebody from my meetup approached me recently about organizing Postgres Python event, which I think is super overdue. Uh, so um, my question to you is, what, uh, I know Python people love Postgres, we do not necessarily love how they're talking to us. What challenges do you see from Python side with uh, like Python Postgres application building? Uh -huh. um. Thank you for the question. I think that, uh, as I mentioned, I think Postgres is also an inclusive community and diverse, but I noticed that uh, because Python is larger, uh, maybe here, uh, mm, I think, I can think about it later as well, but um, I think that because I saw the Postgres people there, I thought that uh, they were, uh, welcomed, but because Python is larger, maybe Postgres community can be more proactive, for example, saying, you know, giving some tickets to the Python people uh, for the other events or uh, welcoming more uh, companies here that use both Python and Postgres. And um, mm, I don't, I think Python, because it's larger, it has different directions, maybe, um, just focusing on a couple of and trying to change how they, um, for example, view Postgres community. And I think it can be done in different ways, but at the moment, I'm, I don't know. Yes. Hi, um, you mentioned many times that the Postgres community is really, um, like, really awesome. So I, I was just curious to hear, like, whether you have any specific examples of how the community has helped you, whether it's from a technical perspective or from a non-technical perspective. Um, yes. Um, first of all, uh, the all the talks and everything that you. Uh, you can learn from, but also I think anyone you uh, uh, approach both in person or online, they are always willing to help. Uh, the first call I had was online where I wanted to uh, see what events there are and how I can get involved. And uh, they helped me, for example, by giving the information, the whole calendar where I can see everything and also uh, discussing some talk uh, topics as well. I also got a mentor, uh, who is sitting here, Dirk, uh, who helped me with uh, the, my story as well, I mean my talk, and making sure that I feel um, confident uh, to speak. And, um, and um, also, um, in terms of like technical, uh, I think I, for example, asked Bruce <laughs> a lot of questions, and he always helped, um, and um, anyone, I think, uh, I'm always, I'm too always willing to help if I can. So I only had a positive experience. Any 
Anyone else? Okay. Um, um, so if you don't have more questions, <laughs> Uh, this was it. Thank you so much again for coming to my talk.